Hey guys, Mr. Active Servo here. Just got an overwhelming response to my last video, and everyone said they wanted a tutorial, so here you go. Let's do this tutorial. I want you guys to be out there in the field getting some rare Pokemons and showing off. So, first off, we're going to need Python installer. And I'm gonna, I have all the links down below. You're going to want to go to this link, and you're going to want to download the Python 2.7.12 or whatever it's at. Don't do 3.5, it's not compatible and it's pretty basic install just click next until it's done all right so the next step we need to install pip it's something to do with python don't don't ask me really what it does i'm not a developer i just want to see pokemon okay so first we're gonna download pip here it is and then And then according to Reddit, it says, um, if we just, uh, so we right clicked, we downloaded it, run the download program using Python. So if you double click on Python opens, it should just do what it needs to do. If it doesn't open in a command window, you don't have Python installed and uh, something messed up. All right, so it's installed now. All right, the next step, we just need, you need to create a Pokemon Trainer account. It's right, you probably are logged in right now with your Google account, but you want a Pokemon Trainer account because in case they decide to ban you or something, you don't, uh, you don't want your main account gone. So make a Trainer account, you, you know how to do that. The link's here and it's also, I'm going to have in the description. All right, so the next step, we need to download his files and he's going to keep updating it. So, and I've got the link here, it says is github so you're going to clone or download click it download the zip i've already downloaded it and then just unzip it and then open it up you got all the files here just right click and no, don't right click hold shift and right click and open command window here and then according to reddit you want to either type or copy pip install or requirements.txt and then just paste it in the command window, hit enter, and I got an error. Pip is not recognized. Okay, time to go to Reddit and see what to do next. All right, so according to Reddit, it says to try putting in the path. It probably installed the C, Python, whatnot. So let's, let's give that a try. There we go. Okay, so instead we just had to put the location of where Python is. Yours might register automatically, mine didn't. Okay, so it's doing its thing. Okay, so it looks like we're all installed here. So on to the next step. All right, so the next step, you uh, I didn't realize it, but they've updated it since I last did it. It's even better. You need to get a Google Maps API key, and I'll put the link below on how to do that. And it's pretty simple. You just go to you just go to this site and follow these instructions and. First step, you go to the website, sign in with your Google account, then you create a new project. So you just click, you, you select create a new project, click continue. Then just enter any name, really doesn't matter, you'll never see it again. And then you just click continue. And then there will be like a long delay, just wait it out, eventually it'll work. And then you'll get an API key. So copy that and save it somewhere, you're going to need that. Okay, and then the next step, you need to go to, go back to our Pokemon Go file, go to config, 
and then there's something called credentials.json. Just right click on it, say edit with notepad. And I'm assuming you have notepad. If you don't, download it. It's a pretty basic program. So yours is going to say Google Maps key and it's, it's just going to have these two little quotes like that. So just, just paste your Google Maps API key you just got in here and then save it and close it. All right, so next step, we just got to get our code ready and we got C, Python 27, Python, and the file is called runserver.py. And you don't really need to know what most of this is, but once you've made your Pokemon trainer account, just as a dummy account, you're going to replace these stars with your username and then these stars will be your password. And then here is where you put your coordinates. I think you can put actual places like cities, but the easiest way, I like to put actual coordinates. So like, I don't know, here's, I don't know, it's like a beach. So let's say I want to go here. I'll just right click this is in Google Maps. I'll say what's here. It'll drop the coordinates right here and then just copy the coordinates and just we'll just paste it in here so we've got the coordinates and then this last part the 10 that's how far you want it to go I think 10 does like a it's like a three four mile radius it checks so you probably don't want to go much more than 10 but you might want to do five for a smaller area it'll load quicker you can just experiment with that okay so now just go to the main folder of your Pokemon Go map master thing Hold down the shift key and right click and open a command window so it's already linked to that location and then what you're going to want to do is paste the code you just wrote and then just hit the enter key and it's going to start running some code and now it's finding Pokemon and gyms and whatnot and now what you want to do, just let that run in the background. Now you're going to want to open the link that goes to Google Maps that overlays it to show you what's there. Okay, so I've got the link here. It's also in the description. I'm just going to click on that. Opens up. And here, here it is. It's already adding Pokemon. It's pretty quick. They keep popping up. And oh, there's a Clefairy. You can click on it, it'll show you how much longer it's going to be there, how to get there. You can even say get directions and Google Maps will open up and navigate you there. And I mean there's some dumb ones like Pidgeys and stuff, but there's even a Squirtle. I haven't even gotten it yet. I think I'm going to have to probably sign off and go get them real quick. But anyways, that's just a quick tutorial. I didn't know Jigglypuffs could swim. Um, anyways, that's just a quick tutorial on how to how to get this working and find Pokemon. So, good luck to you guys and get out there and get some Pokemon.